is high Hey what's up hunters and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to beat Toby Kadachi's very fast in the event that we got in Monster Hunter Now, the Toby Kadachi weekend. And before this video starts of tips and tricks, guys as usual the support's been absolutely just incredible. Keep up the support and you guys know my goal of hitting 1000 subscribers half of the majority of you have not subscribed yet so please hit the red bell hit the notification bell as well if you don't want to miss any monster Hunter videos live streams or projects i do on this channel but all that stuff out of the way let's get to the tips and tricks on how to beat a toby kadachi really fast so the tips and tricks i want to tell you is well first off the weaknesses toby kadachis are weak to poison and water now there are poison weapons and water weapons in the game and the poison ones I'm going to talk about first are from Rathian and Pookie Pookie and they're quite obtainably very easy especially Pookie Pookie as you can get it very early which is quite nice if you want some Pookie Pookie weaponry and because that Rathian you had to get the chapter 9 to kind of get her weapons but Puki Puki is also very nice as well and poison is quite strong against Toby Kadachi because as soon as it gets afflicted by it it will take chip damage from the poison basically chipping its health very slowly as you're attacking it so poison weapons are quite useful against this fight water weapons come from Geratotus weapons and Geratotus weapons well you obviously have to fight the mudfish and you know it's an elemental weakness so obviously you're going to do more damage with element so water is also really really strong for it but personally out of all of these i kind of prefer you probably obtaining pookie pookie weaponry just mainly because pookie pookie is very early on and quite frankly you can get a lot of pookie items to kind of upgrade your pookie weapons very high meaning that you'll do more damage and more poison damage because these guys will do will spawn a lot because that's what the event's about is that Toby Kadachis will spawn more often in swamps and forest but you also can go for Raytheon or Jared Totus weapons if you want to either do more poison on Raytheon and if you want to do more elemental damage more damage in general then Jared Totus water weapons are also really good and then the final well tricks well since this thing is very acrobatic and very agile to fight you want to be very careful on some of its movesets like there are some ones where it could turn around very easily and can do a follow-up attack so keep in mind that you have to pay attention very closely on what follow-up attack it's going to use or otherwise you're just gonna get hit and then if you get hit by the follow-up attack you'll most likely die or either well you know the rest and that's kind of all the tips and tricks i want to give you and yes this video is short because i am planning on making another tips and tricks video about the raytheon event that will be coming next after this event in october and that's kind of all i want to kind of cover and tell you guys well tips and tricks on how to defeat toby kadachi's more faster but if you guys have enjoyed this video hit the like button down below but also hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you don't want to miss any monster Hunter videos live streams or projects i do on this channel i'm mad oz happy hunting and i'll see you all in the next video bye